everyone, it's Katerina and I'm here today to do my week 10 check-in with my measurements and weight and everything. I know I haven't been really consistent getting these out the last couple weeks, but things have been very hectic busy here with the move and we're coming in on this week one of the big moves with the biggest truck. So we've been getting everything staged and packed and it's just been taking a lot of time and effort. But I did want to get one of these out just so that you can see, you know, where my progress is going and that I'm sticking to it still. Um, I'm actually going to be going this time with the truck up to help unload it. I actually won't be moved completely until the first week of November, but I'm going to go this time just because this is a very big load going and just want to, you know, be able to be there and, you know, get everything situated. But it's going to afford a great opportunity for me because it is a day long drive. And so I'm going to be able to film or, you know, at least document what I'm doing for food and how I'm handling that type of situation, gas stations, all that kind of stuff. So I actually look forward to that because it's a challenge for me and I'm super excited about being able to possibly share that with everybody. But anyways, I, I did want to talk to you a little bit of some of the things that have been going on as well since I usually do that and then share my measurements. I don't have a whole lot of different things to report. I think I had mentioned in previous videos that I used to suffer a great deal from GERD. And even in the beginning when I was doing carnivore, I still was having a lot of GERD issues. And then that stopped and I wasn't having any problems with it at all. But I did notice actually um, a couple times this last week I've had very, very mild and I would say more not like it was where it was painful and it was keeping me awake and I couldn't lay down, but more of just kind of like this burny kind of feeling and not really bad at all. Um, not bad enough that I had to take any medication for it and I'm still kind of trying to work out what it could be that is causing it. I know that I suspected that it was dairy originally. Um, I've been eating a little bit more pork this week. Uh, we just happened to have um, pork belly several times and I have done some pork panko breadcrumbs so possibly maybe pork isn't going to be the greatest thing for me. I don't know yet. I need to do a little bit more um, kind of documenting to see uh, when the acid reflux feelings happen as compared to what I've been eating but it didn't occur to me initially as I was having the symptoms that I needed to pay really close attention. So I'm going to do that now and see, you know, maybe pork is something that I won't be able to have a lot of. I generally have no symptoms at all from anything that I eat in the beef or lamb um, categories. Um, I do think that it may have something to do with the pork, but I don't know. That might not even be a thing. I'm going to do some more research into that. Uh, something else that I've noticed is I have always had, um, for the probably the last six or seven years, I've had a lot of skin issues like eczema, psoriasis, um, really dry, itchy scalp, um, uh, just, you know, things like that. But I never had a whole bunch of issues with acne. And for whatever reason, again, not positive what it is that I'm doing that's causing it, but, and you probably can't see, but I have one of those things on, like one of those mighty patches or something. I actually broke out on the side of my nose, and I'm pretty meticulous about keeping my glasses clean. I clean them pretty regularly, so I don't know if it was maybe that, because it's hot as all get out in Texas. It just never seems to let up, and I sweat, you know. Um, sometimes when I'm out you're know, doing the yard work or when we've been you know, doing packing in the garage and stuff but I don't know if it was that or if it might be something that I'm eating it just is something that I've noticed that I haven't really had any issues with so kind of also trying to see if that might have something to do with it um, I haven't had any stomach issues as in the diarrhea or constipation. All of that has completely cleared up. I've got no issues whatsoever. 
Typical with most carnivores, I don't go to the bathroom every day. It's generally every three, sometimes four days. And I don't go a whole heck of a lot, not like I used to um, as, a, as a vegan. So those things have all cleared up. Um, there were a couple days where I had some pretty bad headaches. Uh, they had come back when I was doing a lot of dairy and I just kind of attributed it to the dairy But we've also had a fair amount of weather fluctuations here where it's been You know some storms and that type of stuff and I'm oftentimes susceptible to that so it could be those things I also work on a computer all day every day just about for my regular job So I do spend a lot of time staring at a computer screen So it could also possibly be a tension headache from the way I'm sitting So I'm not going to assume that that is diet related unless it starts coming back on Like the everyday thing that I used to have I'm still relatively pain free I am not having the all over body pains. I'm not having a lot of issues with my back. It does get sore at times, um, especially my lower back. But again, I am doing a lot of packing and lifting and moving things right now. Um, granted, I'm not lifting a ton of weight or anything like that, but I am still doing a fair amount of work and I am also not really all that in shape. Well, at all, I'm not at all in shape. So. It could be that, and again, it's nothing that is concerning. I haven't had to take any of my medications for it, so I still consider that an absolute win. As for sleep, I actually do have a lot of night sweats and stuff, and so sometimes I still wake up in the night with that. I don't notice it nearly as much as it used to be, but... Um, that is still something that I'm dealing with and I don't know if the carnivore diet's going to fix that or not, but it would definitely be much worse. So that part is going really well. Um, other than that, everything is just well. My mood still continues to be good. I've had maybe one or two instances where I've been just very, very agitated um, but not without reason, you know, situations or things happen that would make me agitated. But for the most part, it's not anything out of what would be considered normal. So I'm still absolutely thrilled with all of the results and everything that's been happening. I still feel great. Um, my measurements, some of them have moved, some of them haven't. But again, it's not a race for me. It's more about feeling good and all of the other stuff are just added bonuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my measurements. So we are actually on, these measurements are going to be for week 10. Um, and by the time that I'm actually getting this video out, it's already in October. So this was back in September, so there'll be more measurements coming soon. But my weight at this particular time, which I will say this again, and I say this every time, the weight is not important. I'm not doing this for weight loss. Yes, I need to lose a lot of weight still, um, but that's not, that's not my goal. The only reason why I say this is because there are some people that are actually interested in following these numbers in this journey, just out of curiosity sake. So I, when I weighed myself on this day, I was 205 and my neck has maintained 15 inches the entire time. It's never gone down. Uh, my chest was again 42. It was 42 last time I measured, but from the 46 that it was originally, it is a huge improvement. My biceps were 13.75 this time. They were 14.75 the last time, and they originally were 14 or 15.5. So quite a bit of improvement there still. My waist was 36. It was also 36 last time I measured, but it was 38.75 when I started measuring this back in July. My hips are 45.75. They were 46 the last time I measured and they were 50 the first time. So my thighs this time were at 21. They were 22 the last time I measured them and they were 28.5 the first time and my calves were 14.5 this time they were 14.5 last time but they started out at 15. 
So that puts me at a BMI of 45.8 this time. It was 46.4 last time, but it was 48.7 originally. So that is a really huge difference. And while I haven't had a huge loss of weight or giant changes in numbers, I'm still very, very happy. Well, I'll be sharing the pictures and um, my sports bra and my biker shorts. So if that isn't something that you wanna see, be aware that that is uh, incoming. And I thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am eternally grateful for all of my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, it would be wonderful if you would. Like, comment, share. Um, I try to get to all the comments. I still absolutely love every one of them. I appreciate all of you for being with me on this journey. And I'll say it again like I do every time. You have a wonderful rest of your day and eat your meat.